Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me. My name is Susan Timchak and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'd like to welcome you here. Tonight what I have to share with you is some more swap cards. I have two more stacks of cards that I received when I swapped with other demonstrators and we were focusing um, on these swaps with the recently released holiday catalog. <coughs> now if you're not sure, excuse me, what swaps are, Swaps are where um, these were a group of 21. So you make 21 of the same card design. And actually, I, I got one of my own back. So this was um, my card. So I had to create 21 of these. And we put them in our little cello bags with our name on the back. Um, some of the demonstrators put the information on there as to what they used if it was something difficult in their card design. Um, but me, I just put a little post-it note so they can take that off, you know, um, afterwards if they didn't want my name on there. And these are um, full cards. The other swap I was involved was just card fronts. But um, this one, this way here, if you need a quick card and you don't have one, you can always pull one out of your swaps. Or when the catalogs retire, then, um, you know, and, and the items are no longer available. Us as demonstrators, then it's it's kind of like something we, we don't show again. Because then, you know, you can't purchase that and that wouldn't be fair. So um, you can reuse them this way by doing it a whole card. So um, this was the one that I created. And I, I showed this on another... Um, video that I did. So that was one of mine that I got back. Well, that's okay. You know, I can always use an extra card. Um, so let's go through them. Now they are in these plastic sleeves. So I apologize ahead of time. If there is a glare, I will try to show them so that, you know, it kind of holds back from getting too much of a glare. But um, here's a real cute one. And again, you'll see some new product on here. New um, foil snowflakes, new designer series paper. And that, look at that cute old set. That is just so retro. And if you're into retro, you'll want, <coughs> excuse me, you'll want to check that out. I don't know what it is. Whenever I start talking, I start coughing. So this one is, oh, it's absolutely stunning. It just doesn't do it justice. Look at this silver paper. This was run through with the, um, with the die that we have with the stitch framelits and look at this background paper isn't this just stunning and i know you're not getting the full quality of it but it's embossed with silver and gold oh this card is stunning love that and here's one near and dear to my heart the um santa paws and it says here comes santa paws pa la 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 oh if you are an animal lover you will want to make sure to check out this stamp set in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I recently purchased this, purchased, um, this set through another demonstrator. I know, odd, right? But she was doing a fundraiser to help with the animals down in the hurricane um, in Texas. So um, I purchased it from her and she put it together with a little bundle. And uh, the proceeds of all of that is going to go toward the um, society that was helping for rescuing the animals during the recent hurricane in Texas. So I'm looking forward to getting it. It was on my list and I hemmed and hawed, but seeing this red glimmer paper, this is, um, looks like a wink of Stella put on there, some dazzling diamonds. Oh, it's just so cute. Love it. Okay. I better get through these or this is going to be a three hour video. Okay. Here's another one. Halloween. Cute, cute, cute. Pick your potion. And look at the little rhinestones. Love it. And look at this little one. Isn't this just sweet? Look at these wood embellishments. Did you find them in the catalog? You'll want to go and find them. And there's that snowflake, but this time it's just flipped around. So it's the opposite side, which is a, um, a white color. And um, love this. This is simply cute. Love the little wooden nutcracker. He's so cute. And here's another cute one. Ugh, snowman. Yes, please. Um, I love this. The, the softly falling embossing folder. Love that. The layers with the white. Oh, it's just... Yeah. It just says Christmas. Another real cute one with a new label punch that we have and the coordinating um, stamp set that goes with it. There's that music sheet paper again. And there again is that, I don't know if you can see it, the softly falling, the same, 
the same background that was used on that card is used on this one. So I'm getting a lot of use out of that. And the new ribbon that coordinates. Love that. Now here's another one. Again, there is that snowflake. This time it was colored with our inks, I would assume. And if you turn it over, it's white. So you can make that snowflake any color you want. And again, there is that paper. Love the layering. Very cute. Oh, this one is stunning. Look at that folded paper design. Do you not love that? Oh, and the background embossed image, that copper ribbon that's new. Look at this. Here's a new punch here. It, all, it reminds me of like a cloud. I love this card. Beautiful. And there's just not Christmas without a cup of Christmas cheer. How cute is that? There's that big embossed snowflake. Have you seen that in the catalog? You'll want to check it out. And this coordinates with our Coffee Cafe stamp set, which, don't forget, Friday I'm having a class here at my house on um, 9.15 at 6.30 p.m. And we're going to be focusing all on that coffee set. And um, we're going to be making a little coaster. Cute, huh? Cute. We're making cards too, so don't worry. This one is almost like the other one. I want to say, is that the same one? No, but look. Look how similar they are. Is it the same person? Nope. Two different people. But look how demonstrators think alike. Is that not cute? Either one. This one has a polka dot um, embossing folder. So cute. And here's another one. Now this paper I've been eyeing up. I didn't get it yet. And look at this little metallic um, cording here. How cute. Just the layers of the different paper. What a cute idea that is. And I want to think, hmm, just simple. These were, were these fussy cut? No, these are probably a die. That was a die. Oh my goodness. I just got these today, so this is only the second time I'm looking at them. How beautiful is this? This reminds me of this card. How stunning is that with all that metallic paper? Oh, that is, there's the snowflake again, that paper. And look at this. You see this white image here, behind here? This is a die that you can use with your big shot. Go find that in the catalog. You you probably skipped right over it, but it's stunning. Oh, here's another fun Halloween one. This is using the Spooky Cat, the stamp set. Cute little um, witch's hat. There's that new um, black, um, uh, yeah, the ribbon. Not the ribbon, The you know what I mean. Um, one of our new punches, <laughs> new stamp set that coordinates the crochet trim. Black crochet, crochet trim. That is so cute. Love it. Designer series paper strip. Oh, here's another one. Oh, I just love these coffee cups. And look, Merry Christmas. And it's just simply cute. There's that um, that ribbon again. It's actually like a trim. And look at the cute little heart up here at the top. Sometimes it's just the small little things that um, catch your eye. Oh, and how stinking cute is this? The sweater embossing folder. The cable knit, I love that. That cute little reindeer, and look, a little rhinestone for his nose. Oh, this one is cute. Look at this garden um, gate. I think it's garden, is it gate? It's a gate, anyhow. It's a die in the um, catalog. I just ordered this, and it comes with this little lock and key. And look at this little cat. He's holding on to the key that unlocks the gate, and nobody's passing him by. Look at the little background here with the embossing folder, some sponging on there, the little pumpkin cut out from the designer series paper. Oop, I'm going off camera. Sorry, I'm getting too excited. How cute is that? And here's another one with the Harvest, Autumn Harvest, excuse me, stamp set. That's simply stunning. I love the paper on the side here. A little bit of embellishment with some ribbon and twine. Oh, that's stunning. And the final one for tonight, Be Merry. How cute is that? This is actually a beautiful stamp that makes that um, stunning look there. <clears throat> so another stamp going around there. Some of our ribbon. So cute. 
Okay, well, that is our cards for today. I hope you've enjoyed them. I have a whole other stack to share with you, so I'll be coming back in another video for that. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching my swaps, and if this is something that you'd like to do, you'll want to head on over to my Stampin' Sue Creates page on Facebook, where I offer a monthly swap with my customers, and you don't have to worry about making 21 of them. All we do is we make one swap, you sign up, and you send to the person's name who signed up under you. The last one on the list sends to the first one on the list, which most of the time ends up being me. But, um, so that's something fun. And, you know, there's nothing like getting a, a card like these in the mail, you know, instead of those bills and all that junk mail. So make someone else's day happy by sending them a hand stamp card. And I once heard at one of the conventions I went to that sending a hand stamp card is like sending a hug with a fold in the middle. So go ahead and hug someone today by sending them one of your handmade cards. And I hope to see you back here real soon. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any of the uploads that I that I post, go ahead and hit that little bell and then you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded from me. So have a super stamp of night. Glimmer hugs to you all and I'll see you all again here real soon. Bye for now.